before we get started, let's check in the leaderboard after seven games. Zappa Phantom still at the top. River City Phantom falls down to third place. And Bruce Bannister moves up in the second. Remember, if we haven't got involved already, you can just follow the links in the description. It's free to enter, you just need to create a form account. And with that, let's roll the titles. <laughs> So right away, we can look at the team of the week for the previous game. And as you can see, we've got three of the back four with Wood, O'Connor and Meadow in there. We've got all the midfield in Middleton, Pritchard, Cook and David, And one of the front two in Donaldson. This shows how dominant that win against Northampton was. Now in game week 8, we travelled to Walsall, who are 14th place compared to our first. So hopefully we should win this. And hopefully we can carry on a good form from the previous match. We are without Jake Reeves again. And they're missing Danny Guthrie and Cameron Norman. And Corey Roberts is a doubt. For the lineup, we've gone for an unchanged team. So it's McGee and Goal, Mello, O'Connor, Richard Everton and Woods in the back four. Pritchard and Cook in midfield. Middleton, DeWitt on the wings. And Carter and Donaldson up top. On the bench, we've got Sykes came with Henley. Howdy, Devine, Guthrie, Conley and Novak. Team talk wise, let's go for Calm and we're going to do, I fully expect you to keep our run going. That's not really motivating anyone, so let's for individual, let's do passionate and I want to see a solid display. And I'll probably do that for all of them. That's motivated a couple more. Woods on the ball, plays a bit Everton. Plays it up to us. Donaldson. Donaldson knocks it on and McCartan picks up McCartan's shot but it's blocked. Picks up the loose ball. Tries to cross it but it's cleared for a corner. Mello with the free kick. Plays it in the box but it's cleared out. But Cook picks up the loose ball. Plays it into McCartan. McCartan does well to beat his man but then fires it straight at the keeper. Sharon dribbles it across the field. Plays the ball to Kinsella. Kinsella hits the cross field pass to McDonald. McDonald's cross is blocked. Finds Julesdale. Floats the ball into the box and Kinsella heads over the bar. Facey with the throw. Finds Sinclair. Back to Facey. Facey crosses. Anthony O'Connor clears it. Pritchard knocks it onto McCartan, who knocks it onto David. David then switches it into Donaldson. Donaldson slides into the box. Plays it into Cook, but it's tackled. Donaldson gets the ball back though. Plays it into McCartan. And it rebounds off something. I'm not sure where, but he missed it anyway. Donald for free kick. Finds Gordon. Gordon. Oh, good save by keeper. And Lavery. He should have scored that. Open goal. Oh, wait a minute. O'Connor back to Richard Everton. Loops it into the box. Headed on by Donaldson and McCartan. McCartan scores, but no, he's offside. We need to take another look at this. I'm not sure he was. Let's have a look. And Donaldson nods it on. Oh, by a foot. Oh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. On the throw from Wood. Donaldson nods it on. Miller. And he's offside as well. Is he really? A bit about unlucky with these offside calls, but let's have a look. When Donaldson nods it on, not by a massive amount, but as you can see, he is off. Two disallowed goals in about a minute. Keeper plays it up. Gordon beats his man, runs forward, plays in Gordon. Gordon's in. Oh, but brilliant tackle by Richard Everton. Wood plays it up to Donaldson. Donaldson does well. Plays it back to Cook. Cook then finds Wood again. Wood beats his man. Puts the cross in, David, and it's just wide. Moving with the corner, O'Connor, and it's headed straight at the keeper. Throwing finds Sinclair, drives forward, tries to cross, but it goes away back to Gordon, and then Facey puts it in, and McDonald, how did he miss that? Going from Milton, it's headed out, which Everton picks up in the box, takes a shot, it's blocked, and there goes the half time whistle. Play quite well, so I'm not going to be too hard on them. We just need to take our chances. Let's go assertive and say we're not doing badly at all. If anyone can use hard work hard, it will come good. For the defenders, we're going to say calm and there's a lot more to come from you. Midfield, we're going to go calm and the same. And then we're going to go, now let's go calm and no, assertive here and there's a lot more to come from you. Well, at least three of them are happening. Into the second half and we're also attacking. Out to Jules. Jules plays it into McDonald. McDonald back to Jules. Jules gets his crossed 
and it's headed clear by Richard Everton. Only spots Sinclair. Sinclair's shot is charged behind for the corner, comes in and it's headed over by Gordon. Free kick from DeVitt, whips it in. Donaldson headers it, but it keep tips it over. Let's make a tactical change. Going to work the ball into the box. See if that helps. Corner from Middleton. Into the box. Donaldson nods it on and Pritchard puts it, put it in. Oh, one nil up. Taking us time to break the deadlock, but we've done it finally. That's his third goal of the season. We have a look here. Middleton's corner comes in. Donaldson leaps above everyone. And Pritchard, it was possibly going in, but he reacts before anyone else. Also pushing for the equaliser. Goes to Kinsella, to Sharon, then into Lavery. Out to Gordon. Gordon finds Sinclair. Connor Wood sells himself, and then Sinclair scores. We needed to keep tighter there. Poor defending by Wood. When Lavery gets it, there's no danger, and still not danger when Gordon. And Wood should have dealt with that, but he sells himself. Good finish by Sinclair, but we should have done better. Lavery back to Sadler. Sadler loops it over the top of the defence, and Sharon is in, and Richard Everton takes him out. And was that a penalty? No, he's given a free kick. That must have been pretty close. Which is Everton booked. So it looked closer than that. Lavery takes it and it goes wide. Let's make some changes. Mellor's booked, so we're going to bring Henley on for him. And the other one, I think, will go for McCartan and off and bring on Guthrie. Corner for Middleton. Whipped in and it's a penalty for some reason. Let's take a closer look if we look here. And what's going on? Oh, he just kicks out. Sharon just kicks out at Donaldson. Donaldson here to take the penalty. Steps up. And slots it home. We're back in the lead. Wood gets the ball on the wing. Plays it to Cook. His first time past Middleton. Middleton in the Pritchard. He plays it into Donaldson. And then Guthrie. Guthrie tries to take his man. But he's taken out. That's an awful tackle by Sadler. And he's got a red card for it. Let's watch this in slow motion. And zoomed in. Guthrie's trying to take him on. Sadler just dives in, high boot, catches him, clear red. The bit with the resulting free kick, and it's just over the top. Final change, let's take off Middleton and bring on Connolly, and we'll swap the fit and Connolly around. Wood charging down the wing, just keeps going and keeps going, stops, plays it back to Richard, who finds Cook. Cook out to Henley. Henley inside to Connolly. Connolly's shot is blocked, and then Cook. Just over the bar. Donaldson out on the wing. Squares off his man. Plays it inside to DeVitt. DeVitt off. Does brilliant to beat his man. But he can't hit the target. Gordon with brilliant control. Turns. Takes on his man. Plays in Kinsella. Kinsella though screws the shot wide. Wood crosses. It beats everyone. But Conley picks up the loose ball. It's trapped in the corner. But finds his cross and cook. And keeper tips over the top of the bar. Unlucky that. Wood's got the ball, plays it inside the Pritchard. Pritchard switches out to Henley. Henley's got space to run into. Bob, his control is poor. Going for Walsall. But they're not going to take it. That's the end of the match. Not as easy as the last one, but it's a win. Let's our team talk. Let's go calm and a good win. Oh. That's why he's not as good looking stats as some of the previous matches. 19 shots to their 11, so we dominated that. We had the only clear cut chance. They had more possession than us though. And our passes were a bit down at 73%. Our tackles were still pretty good though. Donaldson was our best player. He drew four fouls, which was very useful. Mello was our worst player though. He made three mistakes again. He only got 6.3. Here we look at the rating. Which is Everton, Pritchard and Donaldson did really well. But along with Mello, we had to fit poorly performing in Middleton as well and McCarthy wasn't great either. As for the rest of the results in the league, Crawley won 4-0 against Mansfield, Crew lost 2-1 to Cambridge, Exeter City beat Leighton Orient 2-0, Forest Green won 2-0, Northampton drew 1-0 with Newport, Oldham drew 1-0 with Grimsey, Port Vale and Plymouth shared the points with a 2-0 draw, Salford lost at home to Cheltenham who were in second place, Scunthorpe won 2-0 against Morecambe. Stevenage won 1-0 against Carlisle. And Swindon beat Macclesfield 2-0. Looking at the league, we're top. 
but Cheltenham still have a game in hand and are only two points behind. So they can leapfrog us. Macclesfield are bottom on goal difference on just four points. Their next match is a vital one against Cheltenham in second place. We can actually open ourselves as a gap if we can win this. That will take place on Thursday, the 9th of April, and it will kick off at 8 pm BST. You have until then to get your prediction league entries in. The link to the entry thread is in the description. If you haven't already taken part, you can still do so. Just read the other link in the description, which will describe how to play. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.